Like, there are a lot of other focuses they could go for. I don't want to rush the invasion of Ethiopia too much. Because I still massively outgun them, and that advantage is only growing. I could secure my own nation first. I really want to go and attack them, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, that is National Unity Factory Output Consumer Goods Factory is reduction. Uh, yes, I probably am going to pop at them. I've had that before with other streams, just needed to refresh. Yeah, refresh, follow a page until you're online. Huzzah! Hey, Fadro! Thank you very much for the sub, I appreciate that. I should go and write that down. Do -do -do -do. Where's the list? There it is. In fact, I should do another check through on the Twitch sub list. And I also need to name armies. I'll do that in a minute. Alright, so we have got Fanro, which I'm going to add up here. Ooh. And... Put you there. This is Somalia. Right, cool. And in fact, let's go ahead and allocate some troops. So I'm going to make this the Fanro army. Fanro. And the fast army is going to be. We should do a Patreon. Now I have to maintain separate lists for both. Kaje. Haven't given anything to Kaje for a while. You are Kaje no Ryu. I do have a navy, but honestly, it's so tiny and made up of destroyers that it's probably just going to die. And this is KR Som Kaje. All right, cool. And we need a focus. So I was trying to decide whether we want the uh, Pan Somali Ethos. I'm going to give them a little bit more time. So we're going to go for the established Hangash. Enemy is about at any corner. Knives in the dark, ready to hang on. If I pop it, then they still have their focus tree. Screw it, they can still get it. It's just under my control. Uh, we'll do the Pan Somali ethos. Pan Somali ideas have long flourished in circles of intellectuals and military men in our young nation. Now the time to act nears. Every Somali will be under our flag. Hey, Feinschiff. Low popular what? Oh, because we came paternal autocrat. Right, that's a thing. Oh man, being a federal state sucks. I mean, it's a good thing that all of our leaders are paternal autocrats. I mean, I'd kind of like to replace you because the daily political pa power gain reduction is not nice. Low popularity really is not nice. Is there anything that gives us more political power? I mean, yes, but what we really need is something that gives us more paternal autocrats. And it does not look like that exists, so we're just going to have to wait until ministers support their ideology, which really sucks. I mean, I can easily get more by just not taking focuses. But wow. Are destroyers good for anything other than cannon fodder? Even submarines are better. Yeah, they're good for hunting submarines. So if you're struggling under someone misguidedly using submarines against you, then yeah, by all means, use destroyers. But in any other situation, cruisers are so much better. And the only reason that I have destroyers here are that I started with them. Are you done training it? Oh, you're taking a long time. Why you take so long? Right, how much manpower is one of these units? 10,000, so I could not quite afford it. So close. Plus, I need to have a little bit of leeway in case we take casualties from attrition and the like, so we need to be somewhat careful. So, Pan Somali Ethos is going to give me political power. 
It will be 150 to do any of these, including the industrial company that I would really like, or to boot one of these guys out, like the kleptocrat. In fact, do we have anyone who are actually good paternal autocrats? Backroom backstabber, you are exactly the same. Oh, sooty again. Um, so, no. Of you guys, paternal autocrat. You are literally the only... Oh, you're the foreign minister. Yeah, you don't matter. Economy minister. Please, 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 please have something better. You are better. Ish. As far as economy ministers goes, it's still kind of rubbish. But it is better. You're not terrible. I'll probably leave you in place. In fact, you are the only option, so it doesn't matter. And then you are also the only option. Wow, paternal. Going the pirate king of Somalia probably was not a great idea. Going the democratic route would have been better. So much for being a progressive state and everything. Does the industrial company have an Ottoman flag on it? Yes. Because we do have very close links with the, the Ottomans. I mean, we could go for the Mogadishu University just for a more actually progressive uh, thing for Somalia, which thus far we've been kind of advocating. But I think progression's just gone out the window because we didn't <laughs> install a democracy. But we need to have all hail King, Pirate King City. How's Mongolia doing? Baratia, we're what? That can happen. Baratia has a civil war? Man, there are so many things happening in this playthrough that I've never seen before. Yeah, the agrarian revolt. Wow. I'm going to wait until the end of tomorrow so I can see if you actually start with any troops, but... Mahatma Gandhi has been an advocate of resistance to the brutal maximist regime of Subhras Chandra Bose in the Bharatiya Commune, and while he has long stated that this resistance must be peaceful, the patience of those within the agrarian party has apparently come to an end. New agrarian leader Nirmal Kumar Bose has issued a call for the maximists to be toppled by force, and an insurrection has immediately begun to spread through the nation. Gandhi, saddened at the violence about to be committed in his name, is elected to retire from public life. Damn. And... Wow, you are significantly outnumbered in terms of manpower and also factories. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. I mean, still with a fair number of divisions, but everything is stacked against you. Wait, we have two bozes. Hang on. Oh, Nimal Kumar Bose and Subhas Chandra Bose. Or Bose, or Boss. Yeah, he wasn't fighting against himself. That's why I had to go and check myself. I was like... No, it's a different guy. I just want to look something up real quick. Because I definitely recognize that name. Why would I recognize that name? He was an Indian nationalist. Who was the guy that founded Pakistan? Training dudes are probably done. Yeah, I'll, uh, no, they weren't. I checked very, very recently. Oh, blimey, this is the kind of thing I should know. Jinnah was Pakistan. Ah. I knew it was one of uh, Gandhi's close cohorts, but I just couldn't remember the name. He was an Indian nationalist seeking independence from the British oppressors by any means necessary. Mongolia has taken Mark Leek. Well done, Sutikan. Well done indeed. 
Right, what's next? Tibet? Hell, you could even go after Ching at this point. Why has Ching lost some land to the AOG? Is the AOG eating up Ching? Because they're on the same side now. Fentiang is a little bit pushed back. I mean, Japan needs to be somewhat worried because getting Fentiang too weakened, like if Fentiang takes too many casualties in the war, they will split away. They have a very, very tenuous relationship because Fentiang has so much more manpower. Fluffy Khan! I mean, Sooty Khan is the brother of Pirate King Khan. You can see the familial uh, resemblance. Unfortunately, I can't show you the uh, familial resemblance between the Ottoman Empire and Britain. Although, actually, yes, of course, I totally forgot that Britain was also another um, distant cousin. Oh, cousin uh, Nicky Glace. He's, um... Bogor, Maximundi... I don't know, Maximud, Kali, Suti's brother's second son. Yeah, something like that. Isn't Ching Middle Europa? Yes. That's why I'm surprised that they've lost some land. There must be a focus on an event where they just say, Oh, uh, that's going to be mine. Oh, yeah, and the... Uh, of course. Aha, here we go. So we'll check on that in a minute. And yes, there is indeed evil sooty from the Ursine party, the, the bear party <laughs> in the Pacific States. This is one of my favourite things. This absolutely is one of my favourite things. Yeah, they've even got him onto the flag. I mean, that that's, that's love. <laughs> okay. Oh, they are trained. You were right. Let's go and assign you to that line, so you can get into position. Second World Creek has begun. I am going to be intrigued to see what happens here, although Germany, Germany, Germany is partial mobilization. So are you. I'm surprised you are not in war economy. Germany has a lot more factories, but I'm expecting a lot of the German forces to be overseas. And Germany is about to lose their naval superiority because the communists definitely outnumber them at sea. Which means the Entente's going to struggle against the Internationale as well. Because the Germans won't have done as much damage to them as they could have. Alright, so we could get a new advisor at this stage. And as much as I want to replace this idiot... I think I should save it for the oncoming war. Let's grab, put down the lion. Uh, so that we can get war economy as soon as the war starts. How do the Communist France, the Canadians, and the Americans look like? The leaders, and what about the Carlists? The Carlists don't have a change. He's just the same. Uh, Communist France, unfortunately, um, I'll have to try and remember what the original guy was. Wilhelm's a vampire. The AUB uh, is, sorry, UOB is, um, I need a decent name for him. Comrade Sooty. Then we've got vampiric Edward VIII as well. We've got Freddy Krueger of the Combined Syndicates. <laughs> and, uh, oh, what was his name? King Huey of the Long Burgers, in charge of the American Union State. And then Evil City of the Ursine Party. They haven't changed. Get ready for this. This is by far my favourite. <laughs> Jose Agrippino Barnett. Or is he the man of mystery? Of Cuba. <laughs> who is he really? Like, put bet, like, tell me in chat right now who you think Jose Agrippo Barnett really is, because clearly he is somebody else. Uh, who else is really good? Deutsch Middle Africa was just zombie goring. <laughs> French Republic, uh, Philippe Petain is now the lion. Persia hasn't changed. Mongolia, uh, Mongolia? Mongolia is Suti Khan. You haven't changed. Oh, we have uh, Fentiang. Zhang Zulin is uh, a Rakshasa, apparently. And Hirohito is now the pimp Hirohito. Australia is Sweep. So here we go. Like, Sweep is a, is a good buddy of Pirate King City over here. In fact, there are a couple of uh, Sweeps. Unfortunately, we have missed um, Pope Sweep as well. Uh, Pope Sweep was definitely a thing. 
We've got the Riddler in charge of the Socialist Republic of Italy. Yeah, Cuba should really get a focus tree. Cuba and the Caribbean Federation would be absolutely fantastic. Caribbean Federation, outside of China, like China, without a doubt, needs the focus tree the most. Um, but outside of those, like of the countries I would like to see one that's a smaller country, a Caribbean Federation. Because their entire focus tree is just going to be Navy, 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 Navy. Awesome hats over here somewhere. Because you, you can't really deny the awesomeness of the hat. When it comes to hat fashion, that man is the king. Why is the Australian leader not an emu? Because uh, he's sweep. Oh, in fact, yeah, La Plata is a dolphin. And we have missed because he got... Uh, the Emperor of uh, Norway was ousted in a coup, but the Emperor of Norway was absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'm going to bring up the Emperor of Norway, and I'm stressing the fact that he is the Emperor of Norway. And this really almost very, very, very nearly made me play as him to find which one he is. Uh, this might take a minute. Well, Norway's actually got a lot of portraits. Come on, where's your... There he is. Hakon the Seventh, rightful Emperor of Norway. It's not him. I need to change properties. Uh, there he is. There we go. Hakon the Seventh, rightful Emperor of Norway. The Emperor Penguin. You can't deny, if you are led by an Emperor Penguin, you are an Empire. You are 100% an Empire if you are led by an Emperor Penguin. So there you go. Whoops, wrong button. I meant that one. So there you go. Emperor of Norway. Without a doubt. 10 out of 10, Norwegian. <laughs> well, hail the Penguin. French Republic is declared war on the coming to France, so the Entente joining the war very early on, uh, which could help. Now, what have the Carlists done? I'd actually forgotten they actually won the Civil War. Renew the Mediterranean bloc, so they might be about <laughs> they might be about to uh, steal France from the Entente. So France has just got the Entente into a war, and they're like, eh, we'll go join the other guys. They stand a better chance because they're already on the continent. Although the Netherlands is in the Entente, I think. They did ask to join. Yeah, the Netherlands is in the Entente. Guerrian Revolt still hasn't died. That is a surprise to me. And the Ottoman Empire has not had the Axis War yet. Which is good, because I'm really hoping that we can take Abyssinia before that happens, so we have a border and we can go straight into the uh, Sultanate of Egypt and hit them from behind. It's so sad we now to the penguin. I'm so ashamed of being Norwegian because of that. What? Really? Oh yeah, um Christian the tenth is evil pumpkin head. Sweden hasn't changed though. I'm disappointed that Sweden never got a change. Gustav the fifth. Paradox would be disappointed. In fact, the Swedish one should just be the Paradox logo. <laughs> Sweden is not OP. Never be ashamed of having knighted a penguin. Be proud of it. <laughs> Apparently people didn't like my going on about the Emperor Penguin. My viewership's gone from 40 down to 31. <laughs> Whoopsie! As people realise that I'm actually playing a ridiculous version of Kaiserreich right now. <laughs> but it's so worth it! Really? You got... No, you haven't. That's what? Are you legit just fabricating against me? You are legit just fabricating. Let me save you the trouble, because I'm doing it right now. And mine will be done far quicker than yours. I will save you the trouble. Our links allowed. Yeah, go ahead. Just ask first, as you did. So, feel free. Mountain Infantry 2 is complete before the war begins. Excellent. And it is December 39, so we can get the 1940 text nice and quickly. 
And we are still researching integrated support, which is excellent. Now, what's my organization at? 77. Considering I got plus 5 in all of my mountain divisions, I am surprised it's that low. Whoops, no, did not mean to drain. I meant to check this. So, organization's now plus 0.8. That is quite a lot higher, actually. So, yeah, it had a big difference. We just need to make the rest of this division mountaineers and marines. It's because we're still using infantry. That's a bad thing. There is the penguin of Norway. All right. Sorry, I'm going to have to check this. Knighted penguin of Norway, Nils Olaf. It's actually him. That is the portrait. I'm pretty sure that is the actual portrait. Oh, no, it's just an emperor. I thought he had the same posture. All right, I'm going to have to read about that later. Thanks for linking. Cool. I was like, yeah, I can't tell penguins apart, I'll be honest. There has been a genuine backlash about the Halloween portraits by people who complained about immersion. It's up for like two days, guys. Ugh. I mean, it'll be out for like a month on uh, YouTube, but hey, worth it. Worth it. And they did this for free. I mean, seriously. The amount of work these guys put in is redonkulous. And I just finished a bunch of technology, so I'm going to be in a really nice position to get the 1940 techs quickly. The Norwegians are silly at times. Clearly. <laughs> All right, our close. Uh, 14 days. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I'll be in a position to get uh, war economy as soon as this happens. How am I doing for fact I'm up to eight factories. Yay. How are my factories... Whoa. What just... Oh. <laughs> my bad. I just kind of sat my microphone cable. Well, headset microphone cable. To be fair, that's why we love Norway. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, factory slots have definitely increased. We can definitely get more factories now, which is cool. We just need to get the infrastructure in place and start doing it. Rise of the Mongol Empire! This is the rise of Suti Khan. Serbian Republic's declared war on Hungary. Who is still in the Austrian sphere? And you have not taken Illyria because Austria annexed it. That is a goodbye to Serbia then. Because in the Siam game, Serbia did this really well. They managed to pull Illyria out of the Austrian sphere, declared war on Illyria, created Greater Serbia, which could essentially be Yugoslavia, then declared war on the Austrians, and looks like they could win it. This though, not so, not so clever. And the French are definitely pushing into Germany, but that does not surprise me in the least. Nationalists win in South Africa. Yeah, I saw that coming. The Union was in a really strong position, having taken out the uh, Rhodesia so quickly. Naval invasions continue here, but they're actually doing a pretty good job of containing everything. I'm surprised. Oh, German invasion of Japan. And they've taken Hiroshima. That is not good for Japan. That is really double plus ungood for Japan. Also, Taiwan's falling to Qing. Yeah, Japan, not good, guys. Not good at all. I'm kind of surprised they still hold on to that. And the Agrarian Revolt was cutting them in half. So they've taken this part of Burma and are holding that line. I mean, they could do some significant damage because this is all mountains to Baratia if Baratia is attacking them. Put down the line. It's done. It is done. Abyssinia. We don't like you no more. Somalia has declared war on Abyssinia. And it is the 1st of January 1940. A great day in our history. So we're going to get war economy. Blink. We are going to start researching a bunch of new things, including... Oh, no. Oh, uh, wait. That's only 1940. So we can get the better research. We can get the better artillery. Although I think I'm going to do that the tech that's almost done already and what else is 1940 soft attack for infantry sounds reasonable wow they've really boosted their troop 
numbers here. Still fairly confident, so I'm going to let them attack me, then I'll counterattack. And we need a new focus. So at this point, we could start working towards the unified army. Because we've had the federal elections. Ah, if we went local elections, then we'd have to go with the militia. So the unified army with the monarchy is actually the better option. So even though politically I am weaker, militarily I am stronger. Which is good. But I do think I need the Hangash so we can start getting the political power cost reductions and the political power cost another reduction. And then the political power gain. And also the final research slot, which would be awesome. Enemies about at every corner. Knives in the dark, ready to strike at the elderly. Fragile Bokor, who gave so much of his life selflessly for his people. Traitors will be dealt with swiftly and efficiently. Uh, they feel double what we do, but considering the population differential, that's not very much. Alright, come at me, bro. We have an air force? It's a rubbish one, but it's an air force. I'm going to take... In no, I'm going to take air superiority in the Horn of Africa. And do what you can. Fluffy Khan will cuddle you to death. 